As a Michigan native, I grew up surrounded by water, taking it for granted. It wasn't until I moved to Texas nearly a decade ago that I discovered just how vital it was to me. I first moved to El Paso, in the middle of the Red Sands Chihuahuan Desert, and I worked as an interpretive ranger at Waco Tanks State Park and Historic Site, an awe-inspiring area, a true oasis in the desert. From there, I moved to Huntsville State Park in Huntsville, Texas, home of Lake Raven, and alligators and some of the best bass fishing in the state. Did you know that there's only one natural lake in Texas? Cattle Lake. It was made by beavers. All of the others? Artificial. Human-made to act as reservoirs for drinking water. And boy, do we need them. North Central Texas runs almost wholly on surface water, captured after a storm in the reservoirs. During the hot, dry summers when there is no rain, the waters in our lakes and our reservoirs can get perilously low. As an example, during the 2011 drought, some of the water reservoirs in north central Texas were bone dry by the time the drought broke in 2014. In the year 2000, north central Texas had over 3 million people living here. And those 3 million people had access to about 400 billion gallons of water. Over the last 24 years, our region of Texas has grown and grown and grown. Today, Collin and Dallas counties alone have more than 3 million people. And our entire area as a whole has over twice that amount. And that's the difficulty. So many people, including myself, are moving here but none of us are bringing water with us. Even with the opening of Bodark Lake, the first new Texas lake in 30 years, our water supply is not growing at the same rate as our population. If we keep going the way we are without significant change, our water supplies will not be able to meet demand by 2036. Researchers are trying to find new water sources, but in the end, it comes down to us, from the homegrown, born and raised Texans to the freshly immigrated like myself. We need to find new ways to be water efficient, to cut down on our water waste. And if we don't, well, it took nearly 14 years to create Bodark Lake, and we don't have the time or the space to make another one. <laughs>